Hey, it's us, the Krat Brothers. From Wild Krats. I'm Chris. I'm Martin. And we have some great creature questions from some of you Wild Krats kids. Starting off with Conrad, age seven, who wants to know what do skunks eat? Skunks love to eat insects that are underground, you know, like grubs and worms, and, and they'll also have some fruits and vegetables if they find them. Yep. And Billy, age seven, asks, how fast can a Florida panther run? Ooh. That's a good question. They're very athletic wildcats, and they can run up to about 35 miles per hour. Yeah, and here's a question from Marley, age four. What do foxes eat? Well, you probably know foxes love to catch rabbits and squirrels and mice and any kind of rodent. And they'll also eat things like apples and nuts. <laughs> yep. And Cecilia, age seven, asks, how do you sneak up on animals in the wild to be able to observe and film them? Well, you know, that's a really good question. It depends on the kind of animal you're trying to film. That, that's always the main thing about how to get w good wildlife footage. So some animals, you can wait near a tree or a place where they like to eat, and then they will kind of come up to you. Um, other animals, we sometimes go to research stations where there are animals that are being studied by scientists and they're used to being followed around, and that's how we can get closer to them while they're still comfortable. But the key is always to give animals their space, don't get too close to them, and make sure they don't get afraid, right? Yeah, that's it. And Caleb, age six, asks, what happens to sea life when a hurricane passes over? That's a really good question, because at the surface of the water, it can be really rough in a hurricane. But amazingly, if you go down under the sea, it's really pretty calm. So the animals, you know, like some of the fish don't even know what's happening way up there on the surface. But, you know, animals like dolphins can go down deep and be pretty secure. I mean, they do have to come up for a breath of air, but then they can go right down again. So that's a really good question. But the water in the deep sea, really the animals don't even care much about the hurricane passing overhead. And Reiner, age, set, age nine, asks, what animal are you most interested in featuring on your show that you haven't been able to oh, yet? Oh, 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 that oh. is the hardest question in here because there are so many animals. We'd like to do a show on every animal on the planet. But I would say right now for me, I really want to do an episode on gorillas, oh, maybe. I want to do one on snow leopards. Yeah, that's a good that one, too. One. <laughs> there are a lot. <laughs> we We've got do, a long list yeah, of animals and, who yeah, are And I'm sure you have a lot of IDs, too, because there are over 10 million species <laughs> on the planet who share planet Earth with us. And every one of them has their own creature power for survival. <laughs> yeah, so I'm glad we did Komodo dragons recently. Get ready for that episode. Uh, oh, yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> All right, it. here's one from Kira, age 10. What flying creature is your favorite? Wow. Well, I would have to say uh, Peregrine Falcon. Really cool. <laughs> They're great. Yeah. Yeah. I almost said Praying Mantis. They are cool, too. They fly. There's a lot of cool flying insects. Yeah. And if you like raptors, we've got a new episode on bald eagles coming oh, out. So yeah. look out for that one. That's a really good <laughs> one. Oh, and Sadie, age 3, asks, what is your favorite Wild Kratts episode? That's super tough. Um, I think one good one that's coming up is the swordfish episode. That I hope you'll like. That'll be good. And I really like, I got a sneak peek at it, but that new one hour Halloween special with vampire bat powers and tarantula powers is going to be a really good one. Yes. I like that one. <laughs> but one that you've seen, uh, I like uh, Bandito the Black Footed Ferret. I thought that was fun. Yeah. That's oh, and a great the Christmas one. special. I like <laughs> yeah. a lot. I could keep going. Okay. <laughs> so now the next question Cade, age four, asks What is your favorite creature power? Whoa, that is a hard one. Well, I got to break it down like this. For, for running, it's the cheetah. For, for climbing, I would have to go with spider monkey or gecko powers. And for running around in tunnels underground, definitely the black footed ferret. Good ones. Yeah. I'm going to go for climbing creatures. I'm going to go with the climbing creature. I'm going to go with the fusa. They're oh, awesome. Yeah, that is a good one. All right, so William, age five. What kind of turtle is the tortuga? Very good question. I mean, it's not really any specific kind of turtle, but Aviva used lots of different turtle designs to design it. And one in particular was the box turtle, right? Because the box turtle can take in its, um, 
its legs and its head in defense mode. And but we need that when uh, Zach, the Zach bots attack. But we also need... <laughs> we need to protect the Tortuga. <laughs> we need it to be able to swim and fly, so it's got wings kind of like sea turtle flippers. So it's a mix. Yep. All right. Oh, here's a good question from Katie, age nine. What are the coolest animal adaptations you have seen? Now, see, that is a really tricky one. I mean, what pops to mind for me right away is, remember the Draco lizard? You know, with the, the ribs that came out like wings so this lizard could glide? And there's also a flying snake that can flatten out and jump from a tree and kind of slither through the air and glide just like a Draco can. So and I a flying frog, too, flying that does frog. the same, has huge hands. With webbing in between them <laughs> yeah. to catch the air and glide. So gliding, gliding features are really cool. But of course, there's the gecko with the electrostatic forces so we can climb on the ceiling. That's an amazing <laughs> one. That's <laughs> yeah, tough. Yeah, we can keep going on that question, too. Because, you know, the whole thing about our creature power suits, we get to feature the cool animal adaptation in every creature power suit. Okay, I've got Mabry, age eight. And this is the last asks, question. The last question, okay. Do you think there are any undiscovered mammals? Ooh. Great question. There are definitely undiscovered animals. There, is, there are insects that are still being described. In fact, one, you may have seen the episode Litergusa cratorum. That was a praying mantis that was recently discovered in the Amazon. Yeah. And the scientist who discovered it named it after us. And there was a new lemur species discovered in a, in a hidden rainforest in Madagascar, even after we did all our lemur episodes. So we might have to do a new episode on that one. So in answer to your question, I think there probably is an undiscovered mammal or two out there. Yeah. For sure. For sure. We got to keep on creature adventuring. See you on the creature trail. Bye, everybody.